But well, well you like it, there's so much heat to get. Coconut milk. This is a powerful <laughs> measure used to a large cupcake. muffin. Cupcake! <laughs> so Jamie has a of lock, why didn't he use it for his fried rice? <laughs> like a daifuku? Uh, but no, no <laughs> bouncy. Uh, Hello, Tomodachis! Hello, Tomodachis! Welcome back to another episode of Tomodachi Table. Yeah, today we would like to see dumpling. Oh, I've got flashbacks, but we're gonna do dumplings by Jamie, right? So Jamie or Oliver's dim sum today. Hmm, <laughs> that should be interesting. Dim sum, okay. Am so... I going to use some olive oil? Am I going to use olive oil? Or <laughs> olive oil for dumplings? <laughs> oh my god. Or maybe some wet rice, yes? Uh, wet rice, tofu, <laughs> dumpling. <laughs> maybe we'll eat it with some chili jam. Oh, okay. <laughs> so today is a vegetables one. Oh my god, it's vegetable. <laughs> okay, mm. so we're watching vegetable dumplings. Yeah. I think I think Bishop won. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see us explore more videos like this and recreate videos like this, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's take a look. Okay, <laughs> let's watch. We're gonna make gorgeous Chinese style Chinese steamed style. mushroom buns. Steamed Ooh, mushroom, mushroom buns. Greens, vegetable 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 buns. Vegetarian. Vegan vegetarian. Vegan and vegetarian. Full of all the good okay, stuff. Okay. Okay. Really, really healthy. Sound really, good? really healthy. Healthy dumpling. Maybe I'll go to the dumpling. Chinese style. You cover those. But with well, a you like it. There's so much heat to kick. A lot of mushroom. Like a kind of deep brothy flavour that I absolutely brothy love. Flavor. So let's get cooking. Oh, We've got yeah. about 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms, but you really could use Rooms any mushrooms you can get. Mushroom. Mushrooms are a uh, brilliant this is brown source mushroom. of vitamin uh, D so and small. B. I'm yeah. just going like, to literally rip them up. So we're going to start to dry okay. fry those mushrooms. Mm. Then we go in with just a tablespoon no. of sesame oil. Ah, not olive oil. Sesame oil. Ginger. Just a thumb sized piece. My thumb. Mm, your, thumb. your thumb. My thumb. <laughs> Don't know your thumb ginger. size, Jamie. Definitely Come on. To my vegan and vegetarian brothers and sisters, you know, this is vegan. This is happy, happy cooking right here. Carry on tossing. Carry on tossing. Ooh, and ooh. then I'm using Korean. He likes tossing. He really, really <laughs> Always <does>. tossing. <laughs> And there's some mm. sides of the <laughs> ginger. ginger. <laughs> but it looks like he's going to add coriander. But that's not a common ingredient inside steamed buns. But mm. yeah, let's see how it goes. We'll have the leaves for later. The stalks just finely chopped mm -hmm. go oh. in. Oh, gorgeous. Tossing again. So mushroom and coriander. Okay. I'll slice up these dried mushrooms. You can oh, see they're nice and soft shiitake. now. Wow. One little hand will make a lovely shiitake. difference. <laughs> I don't Here, like the shiitake. You've got this kind of little broth. Ah, uh, yeah, the really shiitake really water. Yeah. Don't Let's worry see. about the moisture, because what we want to do is cook wow. that lovely this... mushroom broth away. You can mm -hmm. see it almost evaporating as we talk. Yeah. See mm -hmm. the little bubbles there? So here we are. Been cooking for about four minutes. So, first up, a little rice wine vinegar. Rice about wine a tablespoon. vinegar. Gives it a little tang, and I like that. I like that a lot. Buns don't and usually have a tang. A little tang, seasoning though. with some light mm. soy sauce. Soy have a nice sauce. little toss okay. up. Turn the heat off. Couple of spring onions and chili. Okay. Yeah. Add that to your own preference, okay? So that is our filling, guys. And oh, you can see this yeah. happens in pretty much five minutes. Just run your knife through it. Next up, let's make these beautiful buns. But buns. This recipe buns, I've developed okay. is so, so simple. In a bowl, we're going to go in with one tin of coconut milk. This is a powerful <laughs> measurement. Uh, and I'm gonna... Coconut <laughs> milk. Okay, so more than Chinese, I think this is more of a Southeast Asian inspired mm. buns because you have the coriander, you have the chili, uh, you have the coconut milk buns. <laughs> uh, this is a Japanese week, Chinese week. <laughs> All over again. So China, <laughs> Thailand mixed together. Jamie's dumpling. <laughs> I wish he had some sort of binder for the filling though, to hold the filling together because right now it's going to be very loose, I think, when you're trying to wrap it. So I think Uncle mm. Roger would like to see that, <laughs> but Uncle Roger missed it. And also I think, hmm, coconut milk buns usually, for me, the image is more like a dessert, uh, right? Dessert, yeah. yeah. Mm, coconut milk. Mm. Maybe he's trying to make a curry-inspired bun, I'm not sure. Green curry? <laughs> yeah, or but something. But this right. is a Thai food, right? <laughs> Green curry. But this is not Thai food, he says oh. it's Chinese Inspired steam buns, right? I see, I see. Hmm. I'm gonna do a heat tin of self raising whole milk flour. Because I want it to be really sort of healthy, <coughs> full of goodness. For the next one, regular white self raising flour. So in we go. And then we wanna lightly season this dough. 
take a little fork, mix it around. So he says he's going to use self-raising flour. And self-raising flour, the agent that makes it rise, it's a chemical agent. It's mm. not yeast. So this is already different from making, like, let's say, your traditional dumpling or Chinese steamed bando. Mm. Because this is ke chemical leavener, so it's activated by moisture and by heat. Mm. So if you don't do it properly, it's not going to rise very well. <laughs> Ah, because so it's it, a small one, maybe later? <laughs> so it's like uh, if the flour had baking powder inside, ah, not yeast. So okay. that's one difference already that I can mm, see. Jamie is original. I think because he wants to save time, right? Okay. Mm. <laughs> and then you will make a lovely little dough. It's going to be a little bit darker than your traditional one. Uh, because, because he, he used, used the, the whole wheat, wheat flour. flour. But it will still mm. be mm. nice and light and fluffy. I'm going to roll it out to an Ooh. even sausage. Cut it in half. A lot. Because <laughs> we want to divide into 12. A lot of dough. So we've got these lovely balls. They take no time to do at all. Stuffing them is quite oh. simple. You just take mm. one of your little buns, just pat it. But I think you a lot stretch more it a bit. It's quite forgiving. Uh, in mm. the palm of your hand. And you he didn't need it very much. So there's not nice going to be too much gluten inside, I think. Of these gorgeous filling goes in. It's really simple. It's not technical at all. Just bring up the sides. <laughs> and Ooh. pinch it. Now remember, you have a raising agent uh -huh. in here. And as it cooks, it will sponge up and it will find its natural, smooth, gorgeous, sort of spherical shape. Gorgeous what I quite shape. like to do is put it into these sort of large... Cupcake. Muffins. Cupcake. <laughs> okay, it kind of does the... Cupcake. These sort of large muffin papers. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, this is another story of BBC. But uh, usually when you use self-raising flour, you're making things like scones or biscuits, that mm. sort of thing. Which means the texture of the resulting dough is more fluffy, more soft. Mm. But for a dumpling filling, you want the dough to be more elastic, more stretchy. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. But but the problem is a cupcake. <laughs> cupcake bowl. <laughs> well, instead of steaming it on top of leaves or wax paper, he's going to steam it ah. inside the... Cupcake paper. Maybe a little bit of different texture probably be done uh, yeah, later. Maybe. <laughs> oh, so for a couple of minutes, I'm just going to do that, and then we can cook them. Oh. Yeah, the filling's very loose. Mm -hmm. It's not sticking together. Ah. And there's the very last gorgeous little steamed bun. I think not gorgeous though. I have a wok here. I put about an inch. So Jamie has a wok. Water. Why didn't he use it for his fried rice? <laughs> I want to get a celebration of greens going. We've got choice some here. What I like to do is just bend it literally around our little Matsuna? steamer. You can put oh, some lovely like. asparagus in. Asparagus. Broccoli. Purple broccolis. All of these oh, veggies are super broccoli. high in vitamin C. You know, antioxidants. You know, in so the last good. sushi so look, yes, video also, right? So it she helps used, yeah. nutrients when you're cooking veggies. So those veggies, I only want to cook those for about four, four and a half minutes, mm -hmm. and then those buns, oh, twelve minutes. Oh, buns. Okay. How many? Four of you? It's beautiful. Yeah. Time Three? to serve up. Three? I've got some lovely sweet chili sauce here. Fresh oh, chili there. Chili sauce. Toasted sesame seeds. <laughs> chili sauce. He really likes sweet chili sauce, right? Mm. But at least it's not jam today, it's sauce. Uh, chili jam, chili sauce. <laughs> but this kind of sweet chili sauce, it's more of a, uh, again, Southeast Asian kind of inspiration, I think, because normally it's more of an aggressive chili sauce that they use in uh, dim sum. It's sort of spicy and seafoody. Mm. Uh, something sweet like this would definitely be something from, like, let's say Thailand. Or but this time, Jamie became chili sauce guy <laughs> from the chili jam guy. But yeah, <laughs> let's let's see how he plates the food. Okay. Spring onions, coriander. I've got some soy sauce here. A lot of soy sauce. Oh, sauce. Just have fun. Oh, uh, poison, okay. Oh. It wants burst open. Mm, We've got see. our lovely greens. Look at the color there. Oh, the Just greens look nice. Oh. Mm. Look at this. Really beautiful. Mm, like a dive coop. Ah, <laughs> but no, no it's bouncy. Ah, and even though we've got the whole wing mm. in there. This is just, just a, a manju, heavier, right? <laughs> Maybe more similar to manju, I think. Not a tampering. Young, proper sort of comfort. Maybe we should put koshian inside. Inside. <laughs> inside. Definitely new. I've never seen buns made that way before. I think because the beans, <laughs> I think the, the actual texture of the bun is more like, it's going to be more cake-like than mm. bread bread-like because you, he didn't work it so much. Yeah, yeah. like have to do this more, more, lowly. And uh, 
what is he going to do with the vegetables? He didn't season yeah. <laughs> season them at all. Just put them in. <laughs> uh, usually for that sort of steamed vegetables, if you go to like a dim sum restaurant, it's served with oyster sauce. Um. And uh, I guess if you're vegan or vegetarian, maybe a vegetarian soy sauce or vegetarian oyster sauce would work. Mm. And hoisin sauce maybe I he was going to use. Anyway, if you want to see more videos and reactions like this, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Sayonara. Bye-bye. Maybe it could be good if it was dessert. So like coconut, 